Welcome to the Rave TV. I am Chad, and I'm here with Bryce Avery from the Rocket Summer. How's it going? What's up, dude? I'm good. How are you? Good. Welcome back good. to the Rave. It's good to be back, always. How's the tour going so far? Uh, it's going good. We just started just a few days ago, so I think this is the uh, fourth show. I think, yeah, the fourth show. Mm -hmm. um, so far, so good. Hopefully, today will be the best yet. Excellent. Pretty exciting bandmates or uh, tour mates going yeah, on? Yeah, totally. I mean, we just met most of the guys. Um, my favorite highway, those guys are really cool and Sing It Loud is cool and Vade is cool and FTSK, those are cool dudes. So, nice. yeah. I'm going to dive right in. You got an EP just came out. You got to believe. Why yeah. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Well, yeah, we just put out a digital iTunes EP. Uh, three of the songs are on the upcoming record and one of the songs is a bonus track and uh, yeah, you pick it up and somehow it goes towards when you actually buy the real record. It's like complete my album or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, we were really surprised. We put it, we just like, we didn't book a single ad or anything. And, um, just like two weeks notice, like we found out we were doing it and we just started pushing it on like Facebook and Twitter and MySpace and, and we debuted at number one on alternative and number five overall. It was just really weird. It was like, whoa. Our fans are awesome. <laughs> Dude, you definitely have a big following in the UK as well and Japan, right? Yeah. Well, UK, Japan is a bit of a myth. We're supposed to be like huge there. Everyone always big asks me Japan. that. Um, we do all right there. We we, we kind of had a, a really rad moment there on the very first record, and then we didn't go back for a really long time. So gotcha. So I think that if we went back, it'd be good. They're looking uh, forward to it. Actually, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Of Men and Angels is going to be your new LP, yeah, correct? Yeah. And that comes out in early 2010, is that correct? Yeah, early, early 2010. That's what I'm being told. That's what you're being so told. It's a little bit vague. It's been done. The record's actually been done since April. Really? Yeah, it's been kind of a weird year, but um, just kind of sort of having to wait on on the label to be honest so gotcha <laughs> playing a lot of new songs on this tour we're playing a couple new songs some songs off the ep didn't want to overdo it cause didn't want to just like you know i i i heavily rely on people singing along <laughs> so i don't want to just overdo it so because then you hear how bad i actually sound so. <laughs> it's good to get the crowd involved yeah yeah so I heard a quote from the Austin City Limits. You're compared to like a, a prince and an early prince and such. Brian Wilson. What uh, do you think about that? That's Austin City Limits. Very, yeah, that's a pretty legit. Pretty legit source. It's <laughs> a pretty legit source. I couldn't believe that when I saw that. We were just like, what? <laughs> but obviously, that's really flattering. Um, I would never really compare myself to either of those two. Um, but. Uh, yeah, it was a cool thing to have somebody say about you, that's for sure. So You're a pretty hardworking dude, so it's got to feel good. To, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, off, definitely. So. I, work, I work really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I do it, but I do. Um, I just, I'm just a workaholic. I think my dad just sort of like instilled that in me. It's like, if you're going to do this, you better win, boy. No, my dad's awesome. But <laughs> <laughs> it's a good payoff. It's a yeah. good payoff. So yeah. when we were talking about UK, Japan, US, what's your favorite like area to play? I'm sure it differs. Well, I mean, greatly. man, it's, it's really, yeah, it's different. Obviously, it's just fun to play in America because it's our home, you know, but uh, it's fun to play everywhere. It's just, it's, we're just so blessed that we get to do this, you know, and it's just amazing that God put us in this situation, you know, that we can go to Japan and UK and stuff. And we have great shows in the UK, some of our best shows are there. I don't really enjoy, like, touring there as much um, as I would enjoy going to Japan. Uh, the place is amazing, so... Nice. Yeah. Are you uh, still working on your clothing line at all? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. It kind of got, we're, we're in the middle of like a huge revamp right now of the whole thing. And, and we brought on all these amazing designers that it's, it's going to be very legit. We just kind of, as this year's just been kind of weird and sort of like waiting on a lot of things. And we, we made a lot of changes. Just, it's a crazy year. It's probably a little bit too much information, but just a lot of changes like management, merch companies and stuff. And so we were kind of like, 2010 is the year for when we push the button on all things Rocket Summer and That's call it good. Captivate and everything. So and a portion of that goes to the charity as well. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Cool. It's a total. I'm not like a. I'm not in it at all for trying to make money off mm -hmm. of it. It's just a total like a way to inspire people to get involved. What we do is we have we partner with like 12 different charities of all sorts of different kinds of things, from disease research to poverty aid. And, and when you come to our website and you buy the clothes, or if you see it in stores and you buy it there, you get to uh, decide which charity you want 
25% of the money to go to. That's excellent. So, yeah, so it's pretty cool. We're excited, and we're really excited about the future of that. And we, we've also got something else happening in early 2010, which I can't talk about yet, but it's separate from all those things. <laughs> but it's another thing that's sort of involved in just outreach and helping people. And that's um, good. we're just, that's what it's all about, you know? So. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. So you're touring for the rest of uh, you know November and such, and uh, what do you got after that? Obviously, the new record promotion. Yeah, you, we're sort of figuring all that out right now. We sh- kind of wish we knew right now, but it's sort of like sort of just planning it all. So. Any big Halloween plans uh, for the next two days? Uh, maybe. We, we've had so many different ideas. It's all about like, how do we do this and like still sort of be taken seriously? <laughs> you know we. I wanted to like wear all this fake tattoo sleeves, but I think we're we're playing House of Blues in Chicago, so we might we might like wear black suits with like black skinny ties and like <laughs> black glasses, you know. So so that it's like cool and yeah. we're, we're we're participating, but we're not like you know the, nin- the Ninja Turtles or something. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, thank you so yeah. much for stopping by. It's a pleasure. We right hope to see you soon. Awesome, man. Check thank out the new guys. EP from the Rocket Summer. We'll check you next time at the rave.